to be a bit more creative again for some reason I'm like on a roll at the moment like my creativity has kind of come back I kind of went through like I hit a dead end pretty much um, and I kept doing like the same kind of looks and but yeah so I'm so excited to film this makeup look now there is a lot of products and a lot of eyeshadows that I have used to create this eyeshadow look so you can totally tone it down you don't have to use as many colors but obviously I just want to show you guys exactly what I did to achieve this look um, I started off thinking, holy crap, this is going so wrong, like, it just looked terrible, I actually just looked like something out of Ninja Turtles or something, and, uh, I was gonna stop, and I thought, actually, just carry on, we'll see how it goes, and I'm actually so glad that I didn't stop. So before we get into this video, please remember to hit the red button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also press the little bell, and it'll just give you a notification every single time I up upload. <laughs> so let's just jump straight into this video and I hope you enjoy. So for primer for my eyelids today, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Medium. I've been loving using this as a primer at the moment. It's really thick, full coverage. And then I'm just going to blend it in using my buffer brush from Zoeva. And then just to set it in place, I'm going to be taking my Lock It In Powder from Kat Von D in the shade Petal just to dry it off and prepare it ready for the eyeshadow. So the first shade that I'm going to go in with is called Checkmate. This is a shade from Colourpop and it's so beautiful. It's like a really pale mint green colour. And I'm going to buff this in all the way into my crease on the outer corner and then also drag it out because I want it to be quite smoky. And then also I'm using my Morphe M518 brush for this step. Then on top, I'm going to be using this beautiful, almost like turquoise shade from Colourpop and it's called Dragonfly and it's actually amazing. I mean, like I can't get over the pigment payoff of this colour. I was so impressed with this. So it will be debuting in another YouTube video for sure. So I'm pretty much going to pop it in all the same areas, but use a smaller brush, which is my 2281 from Zoeva. So now heading into the darker green colours, I'm taking this one from Colourpop called Team Captain and I'm going to use my 227 brush from Zoeva to work this in mainly on the outer corner so I'm going to focus most of the product there and then I'll drag it ever so slightly into the crease but still making sure those minty shades are coming through on top. So this is the darkest green shade that I have which is called Enchanted Forest from Makeup Geek and I'm going to again work it on the outer corner using a smaller brush though it's kind of tighter in those kind of areas. I honestly at this point was going to give up. Like you'll see that especially the next step as well I'm just like I'm going to give up. This is not looking cute. This is not looking good but I don't know how but we fixed it. Then I'm taking the Vice Reloaded palette from Urban Decay and I'm going to use the lightest green shade that they have in that palette onto the inner corner. Just I wanted some shimmer and a pop of lightness and brightness in that inner corner bit. And I'm using my blank canvas um, brush to apply it. I was 100% freaking out that I looked like a Ninja Turtle. I just, I didn't even know how to save it. So I thought, cut crease it. So I went and got some shape tape, which is in the shade light. And I just thought I'll give it a cut crease. And it started, started ever so slightly to look a little bit better. And I'm using my favorite NYX brush um, to cut the crease, which is, I'll just go grab it. It's the number 33 brush. Then I'm picking up the shade Jester from Makeup Geek and I'm going to pat this on the outer corner where we kind of finished the cut crease off to join it up with all the other green shades and I really think putting a shimmer here made the eye look look a little bit more beautiful. Um, and then all I'm going to do again is just grab a little bit of dark green again and just kind of blend that in so everything is looking kind of, I don't know, nicer. <laughs> So moment of truth, drama roll please, this is like make or break, I just took my makeup wipe and I just kind of created a sharp line on the outer corner and then took off all that excess blending that I decided to do on the side of my face. 
I honestly don't know how this happened. This, I don't know how this eyeshadow look came from that mess. But anyway, anyway, carrying on with this tutorial, I'm just gonna be taking my Tarte liner, my favorite one, and I'm just gonna make a thin line across my lash line. No wing or anything, I just wanted to define the eye a little bit more. Please ignore my tan, I am still developing and need to wash it off. But anyway, I'm gonna be taking my Becca Backlight Primer and I'm just gonna pop this on all over my face. Then for foundation, I'm going to be taking my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation in the shade Medium Tan Sand. I forgot how much I love this foundation. It's so light on the skin, but it gives you such a nice medium to full coverage. I'm just obsessed with this foundation and I forgot how nice it was. Anyway, moving on to concealer, I'm again going to be taking Tarte and I'm taking the Shape Tape Concealer in light medium and I'm just going to pop it in all the areas that I would normally conceal and then blend it out using a Real Techniques sponge. Also just quickly I want to mention I did jump in the shower after I filmed this tutorial to get all my tan and like the darkness of the tan off because at the moment my foundation doesn't look like it's matching but I promise you it does. Then for bronzer, I'm gonna be taking my Buxom Bronzer in Tahiti, which is my current favorite bronzer. It's just a perfect shade for a nice tanned complexion without it being too orange. It's like in between of a neutral and then a warmer tone. I'm gonna be using my 126 brush to kind of pat this in, and I just love it. Hands down, love it, and it smells like coconut, so what more can you ask for? So for my illuminator today, I'm going to be taking the trusty iconic London illuminator drops I've got two shades currently the first shade that I'm showing you is the original one Which is more of a champagne goldy formula and then the next one is called shine Which is the lighter shade from the collection which has more of a pearly kind of sheen I personally like mixing these two together. I feel like it suits my skin tone really nicely and I've shown you that swatch on my hand as the third kind of swatch. Now I've just quickly shown you what the illuminators look like in a foundation. So I've just shown you the Tarte foundation on the left without any illuminator drops in it and then the Tarte foundation on the right with the illuminator drops in it because that's one of my favorite things for summertime to put some illuminator into a foundation because it just makes your skin look super healthy and super glowy and I'm going on holiday soon and this is what I'm gonna be doing every single damn day. <laughs> my favorite way of applying this illuminator would be with a sponge. I love applying it to the tops of my cheekbones, down the center of my nose, also on top of my eyebrows. On my cupid's bow, if I'm going out out, I literally love drenching my whole body in this stuff because you literally look so glowy and every single photo is just slayed when this is on your collarbones and on your shoulders. Literally, you can use this for everything. And I've also got all my friends hooked on these illuminator drops and I actually bought one for my friend's birthday the other day and she screamed when she opened the present, like <laughs> legit. Then for my blusher, I'm gonna be taking Baby Love Blusher from Too Faced and I'm just gonna apply this on to my cheeks. Instead of popping this onto my apples of my cheeks, I'm gonna pop it up along the cheekbone. I just fancied a little bit of a change. So now to complete the eyeshadow look, I'm gonna be taking this eyeshadow from Makeup Geek, which is called Morocco. And it's a really nice vibrant orange shade. It's just kind of, I just feel like orange and green look really nice together. So I decided to do my lower lash line orange. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking my Morphe M518 brush to blend that out even further on my lower lash line. It looks scary, but doing this step really does make a difference to my eyeshadow looks. And then all I wanted to do is really focus the darkness just on the outer corner so I'm going to be taking that really dark um, green that we used on the top eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply that on the outer corner and connect it to the rest of the eyeshadow. And then for the fun part, I'm going to be taking these little sequin things that I got from Amazon and all I'm going to do is lay down some lit adhesive and just kind of randomly splatter the sequins of all different sizes and colours just like randomly on the inner corner of my eye and then I'm going to drag it up and around the eyeshadow and then also down to like where my eye bag is. I just think doing sequins at the moment really completes my makeup looks because they are quite dramatic and I just feel like it makes them even more sparkly and dramatic so you don't have to do this kind of step to get this look. I still think this looks kind of cute without it, but again, it just adds a little bit more sparkle, um, but it does take up some time. <laughs> it's not as hard as those sticking on the studs as the last makeup tutorial, that was so hard. And then for mascara, I'm gonna be taking my Tarte Gifted Mascara, which is one of my favorites. I forgot how much I love this mascara. And then also for lashes, I'm gonna be taking my Huda Beauty Lashes in the style Farah. Thank you. 
And then to complete this look, I'm gonna do the lips. I'm gonna be using my NYX lip liner in Sandstorm and then go on top with my Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade Supernatural. And I forgot how much I loved this color liquid lipstick. I'm gonna have to go out and purchase way more because it's just amazing. It's like the best nude liquid lipstick I think I've ever used in my life. All right guys, that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, remember you guys can let me know by leaving me some comments down below and giving this video a big thumbs up. Please let me know if you like these kind of more creative tutorials because I'm on the roll at the moment, so would you like me to keep filming them as I kind of go? But yes, you can follow me on all other social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter. It's all Amy's Makeup Box. I made it really nice and easy for you guys to find me. So until next time, I will see you soon. Booyakasha.